What's up everybody? Byron here from ETA. We've got a quick little tech talk. So as you guys know, a couple months back, I reviewed the Footprint Velocity shoes. And these things are incredible. Actually, I'm just gonna give you a quick run through real quick. So you got all kinds of ventilation. It looks like a solid piece of suede, but it's not. It's actually perforated. All this beautiful mesh here. And basically what this serves to do is to keep your feet very comfortable and very firmly planted on your board or your scooter or even maybe an EUC. I don't really know. If you need a prodigious amount of grip, those are your shoes. Now I've had these, the ODB King Foam insoles, also from Footprint, and these things are like magic. I love them. I had a set of the Paul Hart Conspiracy Game Changer insoles, and unfortunately I just kind of baked them and then put them right into my shoes and went about my life. I put them into my work boots. Wasn't able to review those, and those things are really, really funky, so I'm not about to take them out of my work boots. So this is actually the second time this video has been shot in my head, but the first time it's actually been shot because apparently I somehow forgot. So I ordered me another set of these and these are the Footprint Insoles Game Changers. These are the creme de la creme, the top of the top, if you will. I'm gonna read off of the packaging, but I'm gonna tell you because I use a set of my work boots, they're amazing. They're used by NASA. They were used to land the biggest 25 stair drop that I'm aware of. And apparently that they're aware of also. Tony Hawk loves them. Cirque du Soleil loves them. Snowboarding people love them. I love them. Even if all you're doing is going to work and coming home and you're not skating, these things are dope. Basically what this is is a custom orthotic that you don't have to go to the doctor for. So you're gonna take this bad boy and we're gonna go into the kitchen where I've got my oven warming up. We're gonna fucking bake these things and then we're gonna put them into our shoes and we're gonna strap them on our feet for about eight minutes going through a burning fucking hell of plastic and foam. I'm just kidding, it's actually not bad. But when we're done, these bad mamma jammas right here are gonna custom form to your feet. This is get rid of that. Get rid of it. So you got some heel inserts in case you need them. These are sized, so these are already at US size 13. I actually got this is my second set of these. I think the design is really dope. A couple of really important things to take away about these insoles. When your shoes wear out, these bad boys are probably gonna keep going. And you can just reheat them and then put them back in as many times as you want until at such point that they're worn out. I don't know when that's gonna be. You're the only ones gonna know. These are filled with a gel and this gel is incredibly, incredibly energy absorbing. So get a little squeeze up close, and I want you to watch as that gel slowly expands back out. So here's what's dope about these, right? Once you get these things to form to your feet, your feet are gonna be in their natural happy orientation, their happy place, if you will. As you're walking around, a typical insole will actually start to indent and wear in. Whereas every time you lift your feet and you walk around in these, that gel can reset and you're back in your happy, comfortable spot again. So let's check out that artwork one last time. We're waiting on the oven to preheat. We'll be back in a minute. We're back. So I got the oven all preheated. So now, because I have the world's worst oven, I actually have to regulate my temperature very carefully by cracking it open 
And as you can see, I've got a little thermometer back over there. So we're gonna follow this recipe and come up with a badass cooking idea. You ready? We're gonna put these fuckers in and we're gonna pull them out. We're gonna bake these at 235 Fahrenheit or 110 Celsius for you metric folks. Obviously you want your oven clean. We're just gonna pop these in And we'll see you in eight minutes when these are well done. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? That is the smell of some happy fucking feet coming my way. We're about five minutes out. As you can see, due to my lovely oven, I've got to regulate the temperature. It is what it is, man. It runs off of a gas bottle. I've got a little propane bottle out there. Alrighty guys, so we're about halfway through the baking process. I've gone ahead and flipped the insoles around. As you can see, maybe you can see, I don't know if that's even gonna come out on this camera. But these things are nice and hot and fluffy. But they're not quite done yet. Four more minutes, we'll be back. Alrighty, as you can hear, they're done. So we're gonna take these bad boys out. That's the other reason I actually did this. These smell like love and feet. These are hot as hell. Ow, burning myself. Things I do for you, YouTube. So now, after that, you're just gonna very quickly slide your foot into this wonderfully hot, we're gonna call it a burrito. It is. It's like a cushion of love. Ow, fuck, ow. Hey, you should probably wear like oven mitts when you do this. I'm just saying. This is fucking hot. Oh, damn, get in there, fucker. Be prepared to cuss and scream and swear. This is not a monetized video, so I don't care. I'm gonna fucking say what I want. Rick James, bitch. All right, so now we've got it in there. That means I gotta put weight on them. I'm gonna walk around until, you know, like my feet aren't fucking flaming anymore. We'll be back. Skateboarding in the house. You're staring at my balls. What's up? We're still walking around. These things are uh, starting to finally cool down. I can feel them kind of hardening up a little bit. I know what you're thinking. Check my OnlyFans. These things are still hot as hell, just for the record. I've got the oven still going just in case I gotta toss them back in and do this process again. Shouldn't have to though. Oh, so, once these things fully cool off and your feet stop sweating, you know, put a little burn cream on the old wounds. It's really not that bad. I mean, it's hot, but it's, I guess I would call it moderately inconvenienced. There you go. All right, let's test that 90% shock absorption. I'm a fat man. You're gonna see some jiggle. <clears throat> or not, that really works. Yeah, it does. That takes a lot of the shock out. So, these are not only advertised as the world's best insoles, in my opinion, they're the best I've found. I'm not gonna call them the best in the world, but there's a reason I chase these guys to get you that discount code. Alrighty, so we're back. We've completed our cooling journey. I actually had to heat up the left insole a second time 
just to kind of get it. So let's see how she did. Yep, she's definitely firm and hard again. <laughs> Check that out. You can see from the earlier photos how this has perfectly formed to my foot. So we're just gonna pop that back in. And I, guys, like seriously speaking, especially for the guys in the e-skate community that are on your feet for a long period of time, these shoes are just amazing. These shoes, these insoles, really, really, really amazing stuff. So there you can see it has formed to my left foot. And that's all she wrote for this video, guys. Just want to give you that little update. You can see this foot's quite a bit different than that foot. That's why stuff like this is so incredible. That pain out, it takes a lot of that stress out. And you can just chill, man. Just good vibes, enjoy your ride. No stress, no headache, man. So once again, this is Byron from ETA, completing our tech talk. Y'all have a great rest of your day.